All right, welcome back to Ride With Purpose. Thank you guys for coming here once again. Um, today we got ourselves another review video. Um, we're gonna be talking a little bit about Bonanza boots. They sent me a beautiful pair of boots and uh, we're gonna test them out. So uh, yes, let's address it. I shaved my beard off. Had to do it for a thing I have to do to be very vague, but uh, didn't mean to shave it all the way down as far as I did. Um, needless to say, I no longer own a pair of clippers. My wife has, uh, forbade them in the house and my lovely barber said the same thing. So, um, I am now in trouble with, uh, two women. Pretty awesome. But anyways, I made this video once already. Um, it is July 19th. It's Friday, July 19th, which is also my 21st anniversary tonight. So, um, it's kind of late in the garage. We just got back from a beautiful dinner and um, I wanted to knock this thing out. So um, I made this video on the GoPro and nothing wrong with the GoPro. GoPro's actually been doing very well lately. Um, but I have these super bright LED lights in the garage and I keep forgetting that the GoPro will, I don't know how it is like in, in the filming part of it, but it will leave the, like the old school lines going through it and the video quality just looked like shit. So we're gonna redo it again tonight and uh, let's get after it. So I've already opened these up once. I put them back in there just so you guys can see what they look like when, the, when you do purchase them. Um, so let's just talk about uh, how this came to be. All right, so like we said earlier, we're going to be diving into a review on Bonanza Boots. So. I have never heard of Bonanza Boots, to be quite honest with you. Um, how we got into this, a gentleman on one of my job sites was talking boots one day during lunch. And uh, for those who don't know, I'm a site superintendent for a very large construction company here in Michigan. And um, this is just something that some construction guys do. We talk boots on our free time. So this gentleman was talking about some boots he bought and... Uh, last year and they're they're a very popular boot right now they're all over the internet you can find them on facebook and instagram all over the place they're always advertising and he bought them he got into the hype in his experience um the boots were very very uncomfortable and they fell apart very fast like within three months he was having some major issues with them so he uh said the heck with that and bought himself a pair of bonanza boots which he found again I believe he found these off of Amazon, um, but he paid a hundred and I think a hundred and eighty dollars for his boots. This is about nine months ago, and uh, he swears by these boots. So I wear a pair of very, very, very expensive boots that everyone knows about. Um, very popular brand that's known for their quality and their and their comfortability. And um, I said, hey, I'm looking for a new pair of riding boots. So I have a pair of cowboy boots I wear right now, and they're pretty wore out. So um, let's try something different. I'll go with uh, a different brand of boot and, and just try them out. So I I emailed Bonanza. They did not reach out to me. I emailed them asking if I uh, would be, if they would be willing to work with me. I'm doing a boot review. So they sent me these boots free of charge. I got to pick out any boot I wanted, and they have a ton of boots. So I got to pick out any type of boot, boot I wanted, and... Um, they sent them out. So it took about, the whole process took about a week. I think they sent these out on, on Monday from California and I received them today, Friday. So um, again, I've already opened this up, so we're gonna redo everything one more time. But uh, when you do go purchase these, whether you, you buy them in a store or you uh, order them offline, they come in a box like this. So let's take a quick look. Let's take a look at this. So it's just your typical box. It does come with uh, a couple of manuals. They actually sent me a sticker as well. I already hung that up. But uh, this talks about what they do, all their stuff. It comes with a really nice catalog. And this thing has pretty much all of their all of their boots in here. And uh, yeah, they have a huge, huge selection of everything from your typical wedge soles, which I like, moccasin, the mock toe, to the regular toe, I don't know what you even call that anymore, the plain toe, to pull-on cowboy-style boots, to logger boots, to all sorts of stuff, man. It's, uh, 
they have a lot more than I than I thought. So yeah, and again, I have huge feet. So, but yeah, these are what they are. These I got a black pair. I never owned a pair of black boots before. I stuck with the wedge sole because I do love the feeling of a wedge. So especially when I'm on my feet as much as I am, I'm uh, 10 to 12 hours a day walking job sites and doing various things. So these are like wearing sneakers. Um, but let's look at a little bit of the construction side. All stitched in here, so I don't know for sure. I haven't researched it yet, but usually when these are uh, sewn in, these soles are replaceable instead of being uh, PVC welded. So that's a good sign. It does come with a slip resistant bottom. Slip resistant, oil resistant, it's called the Tough Wedge. Um, everything, the stitching on it's all very nice. You got a nice little um, logo here from Bonanza. The mock toe is nice and sturdy. You can almost see here, it's hard to pick it up on camera if I dent it in a little bit, but there is a piece in here. I couldn't feel them when I was wearing them, but there is something in here to help uh, keep the structure up. You can, it runs right here and across top, and I'm guessing it helps keep the mock toe from collapsing down. Well, with my other boots that are, um, to be honest, overpriced, and my big problem with these are is with these eyelets all the time. These things always tend to pop out. So I compared them to the ones that I do have. And to be honest with you, I think they're the exact same eyelet. The, the construction of them is the same. The shape is the same. The width, the dimensions, everything's the same. So I found that kind of interesting. Maybe there's like a YKK of eyelets out there somewhere. But yes, yeah, they're a sharp looking boot. I wore them for about an hour and a half earlier today, um, playing with the dogs in the yard, walking around in them. I didn't get nothing right off the bat where I'm like, ugh. A couple of things that I like, and this is, a, again, shoes are very personal. They're um, a lot like motorcycle seats. I talk about that quite a bit. They're very, uh, you know, to the person. So there's certain things on a boot that I don't like that others do and vice versa. So what I look for in a boot, I like having a skinny tongue. I don't like boots that have a big fat tongue that stick out. Um, the boots that I do own now that I run every day, their tongue is just a piece of leather. And I really like that. This is a little bit of padding in it. And when I put it on, I was like, oh, I don't know. But once I started wearing it, it's not bad at all. This boot is incredibly stiff coming out of the, coming out of the box. Um, it will work itself out over time. The leather on the stuff is is very nice, top quality leather. And then there also there's a, a padding here around, these are eight inch, so you know, around the calf here, which is nice. And then on the inside, something I found very interesting that my other boots do not have, and I don't think any of any of my boots have had. Um, this is padded. It's hard to see. Let me get that. And here is is padded all the way pretty much from this seam here up is a nice, comfortable pad. What's in there, I'm not sure, but you can you can almost see it right there. So that's kind of nice. Now let's get into something a little bit nitpicky. So I am not a huge fan of this particular style of shoelace. This is more of like a hiking boot shoelace for me. Um, I don't, I don't really care for these kinds. So in their magazine, though, what I did find, and I did look online, they do have the type of shoelaces that I like, which are more of that style, something that you would see um, very thin. I think it's called a quick, makes them, I like those a little better. They seem to be a little bit more durable. Um, it's too early to tell, obviously. I just got these boots in. But if, uh, when I do keep these, I'm gonna keep these boots. I'm going to test them out and, and wear them all throughout the week, even at work. But uh, I will be changing these out. And this is just something that's personal to me. It's nothing against Bonanza or their, or their boot at all. I'm sure these might be great, but I prefer to have the quick style um, shoelaces. Boot laces, excuse me. Yeah, so that's basically it for right now. So I'm going to end up wearing these for a few days. I'm going to wear them to work. Um, I'm going to wear them tomorrow as well. I have to work tomorrow, Saturday. And we're going to, I'm going to try to live in these, these boots as much as I can and get a good, uh, a good feeling on them. So like, again, I've worn them for about an hour, hour and a half or so earlier. 
They were very comfortable right off the bat. Again, they were a little bit stiff, but that's nothing that's, uh, you know, not uncommon. <laughs> Once you get high quality leather boots, um, they're always a little bit stiff. Even, you know, my other boots that I, that I owned in the past, a pair of Red Wings, those things were pretty stiff when I got them. I had a pair of Keens, those were stiff. Um, my Thero Goods that I wear now, I've been wearing Thero Goods for a long time now, those are stiff. So again, these boots came in at $180. These are the um, Frontier Mocto 8 inch. And uh, so far I'm a fan. I don't see anything that's uh, sticking out of being like, whew, bad quality. Everything on here seems to be well built and, um, and done right. So I haven't took them on the bike yet, so I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow morning. On my way into work, I'm gonna ride the bike to the job site tomorrow and uh, we'll give it a test then. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll talk to you guys in a few days. Hey now, it is Sunday morning, right around 10 o'clock and I have been wearing these bad puppies for a quick minute, like all weekend. So yesterday, Saturday, I had to work and I put about 14 hours or so in these boots. Now granted, five hours of that was me driving, but um, they're very comfortable. I don't have any complaints on these things as, as of the initial few days of uh, comfortability. Um, they are a little stiff, so I'm getting ready to wash my bike right now. So I'm gonna soak these down really good and do the old fashioned leather. Hey, Maggie says hi. Do the old fashioned leather uh, stretch out of, of these boots. So um, I do have one small issue though. It has nothing to do with Bonanza boots at all, but the toe of the boot of the mock toe is thicker than my other one. So I'm having a hard time shifting the bike again. Nothing on the boot itself. The quality of them appears to be good so far. Um, they're very comfortable. And uh, yeah, other than maybe the shoelaces that I'll end up changing out at some point. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock these and see how long they last. So um, I'm not going to change nothing out. I decided that's not really a true review. If I'm, if I'm upgrading stuff, it's not a true review. So um, this isn't just the end of the review right now. We're going to continue this on. I'm going to wear these throughout the rest of the week. Get them really broken in and... Um, what we'll probably do is at the end of summer, we'll probably do like a three month review on these thing and see how they how they hold up and what they are. But as of right now, initial impressions, these boots are legit, man. They're, uh, they're, they're affordable. They're not cheap, they're affordable. And uh, there's a big difference between that. Some people don't understand the difference. Uh, at $180, I don't think that's a terrible price for a pair of boots that you're spending most of your day in, if not all of your day in. So um, boots to me are a big investment and it's a well-made investment. So when you're out there hustling and you're doing what I do on the construction site and you're on your feet all day, you're putting your, your feet through hell, um, you, want a, you want a good pair of boots that's going to last. And um, as of right now, these things are very comfortable. We're gonna see how long they last. So I do appreciate you guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button. And uh, as always, man, ride with purpose.